What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm on Toxic Gaming today, people. Today, uh, it's a good day, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be going over the reason why. Now, as you know, I've been on a speed duel hiatus for one particular reason, and it's because we are being ruled by bugs again. And uh, now that I'm here, it means something has happened. Yes, we got a speed duel limited list, one more, and so we're going to be going over this. This is going to be a quick little video, I think. Um, but yes, this is for the January Latin America Remote YCS. This is going to be January 27th and 28th. So if you're planning to play in that for your speed duels, then make sure that you are following this list. And Forbidden now has a card on it. It's my precious queen. The tier 0 skill that has been dominating the format for the last uh, 4 months. This card is insane, and it's so amazing to see that it's no longer in the format. It makes the format a whole lot healthier, and it's just a good thing all around to not have being able to generate tokens every single turn for absolutely free, and then also be able to use those tokens for the tribute summon of level 7 monsters for one less tribute, or just insect monsters in general. It is just the perfect card to be our first forbidden card, and it's not a map bell card, so they definitely don't want to errata it. So here we are putting it in the forbidden zone. Now, we also get one other uh, thing to this, and it's that Volcanic Shell is no longer on the list. And this is amazing because that means we can actually go back to playing Volcanics. It means that the Iron Grit Volcanic deck actually has some legs because it has removal outside the Wildfire. And in general, it's just a really nice thing. Still, I don't understand why Machine Angel Ritual and Cyber Angel Ben 10 are untouched. But all in all, both of these were very good. There's nothing really here to complain about for this list. If you're trying to get into Speed Duels right now, and you want to play in this format, and you don't know what decks to pick up, there are five decks in particular I highly recommend you play. Number one is going to be Iron Grit, like you heard me mention earlier. This is the new Gear Free the Iron Knight skill that makes Gear Free the Iron Knight into a towers, meaning that it's unaffected by card effects while it's face up on the field. The ceiling for uh, the current format is now going to be an 1800 beater, and so it's going to be really hard to get over a towers like guy like that. The second deck, in my opinion, that you guys should be playing is going to be the Red Eyes, um, what is it called, Heart of the Warrior deck that uses uh, a Carbon Yedon to be pitched from hand to special summon out one of your uh, non-effect Fusion Warrior monsters. And then on top of that, you can banish the Carbon Yedon to special summon the Red Eyes Black Dragon from your deck because you can still special summon the turn you use that you just can't normal summon or set. And then you can set the Champion's Vigilance face down to protect your monsters. Number three on the list is going to be Cyber Angels. We've been seeing a lot of this deck like all over the format in general. And uh, that deck is just really strong and a really good combo-oriented deck. So if you're from Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG coming to this, this is probably the deck I recommend you play. Um, Cyber Angels is still a playable deck even after this list, and it probably is one of the best decks of the format. Number four on the list is going to be Ultimate Wizardry. This turns Harpy, or yeah, Harpy's Feather Duster. This turns Breaker the Magical Warrior into Harpy's Feather Duster because you get to, on activation, give all spellcasters monsters you control an additional token. And then on top of that, you also can choose one monster on the field and give it a token once per turn. So you use Breaker's Effect, pop a spell trap card, uh, use the skill, give Breaker a counter, pop a spell trap card, then use the once per turn skill instead of the activation skill, and then pop another spell trap card. It's really strong in this format. And then number five is going to be Bountiful Ocean. It's just a really strong skill that works really well with Umi. Uh, what it does is that it makes your non-effect uh, water monsters unaffected by stuff whenever it's uh, whenever Umi's on the field. And then it also has an ability that allows you to get water monsters from the graveyard. I haven't really played around with that skill a lot, and I'm probably completely wrong on what that skill does, but a lot of people like it, and it seems like a very strong skill from what everybody says, so I highly recommend that you try it out. All in all, if you guys are looking for a um, place that you can play speed duels or looking up the format and everything, I highly check recommend checking out the Speed Duel League Discord. I am an admin there, so if you have any questions or anything, you can actually just jump on this Discord. Link to it's going to be in the description down below. We got plenty of deck profiles for you all to check out. Um, and then not only that, uh, we also have a full community of people that, you know, are just here to play speed duels. Like, online right now is 776. Like, there's so many people that you could, like, reach out to to play with, just talk in general chat, asking any questions you have. So it's just a good community for you all to be getting into. And there's so much that you can actually do with this right now, um, with the new ban list. So we have a tournament that's going to be coming up as well. So we're just very excited at the moment to just go over 
uh, exactly what is going on with this new format. But if you all enjoy this type of content, make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure uh, you subscribe if you would like to see more. And then, of course, if you want to join the Speed Duel League Discord, make sure you check that out in the comment or in the uh, description down below. All right. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.